Hello, thank you. Um, my name is Emily Mulvaney. I'm the ward sister on F18 at the Queen's Medical Centre in Nottingham. Um, we worked in conjunction with our physiotherapist who've um, helped um, put the presentation together, um, Grace and Natalie. So um, this is just to talk about something that we tried locally for our um, hip fracture patients. Um, next slide, please. So we wanted, we recently started um, a steering group for our hip fracture patients. We have over 800 patients a year um, with a hip fracture in Nottingham. Um, so there are a significant group of patients. Often these patients are immobile and um, not walking around as much. And they, a lot of patients come in already using one walking aid um, and often go out needing increasing walking aids. So we started as a group, as a full MDT group, nursing, medical, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, deciding what we can do to improve the care, the quality and the experience of the patients on the ward, rather than seeing anything um, really measurable, like reduced length of stay. We wanted to focus on the improvement of quality of stay for the patients. So we wanted to improve their experience. Um, the physio team already were aware of the fact, much like when you go to aerobics for yourself or you go to anything, it's more motivating to do it in a group. Um, we wanted to provide um, increased service without needing any additional staff. So just working smarter, really, because obviously this was going to be a free um, uh, well. initiative. It wasn't going to cost us any money. Um, and we just wanted to review any shortcomings of um, when we've previously attempted group classes with the physio. Um, thank you. So um, the evidence shows us that um, inpatient stay, 95% of the time during inpatient stay, patients are immobile and often they come in to us specifically as a result of a fall and we're all very risk averse um, in trying to prevent people from falling again. So we tried to, you know, we, people are often sat down for a lot of time and we, you can see there some of the evidence. Um, one of our ortho Jerry consultants put together a literature review just to look at how immobile some of our patients are. And on average, rather than the 10,000 steps a day that we, you or I may aim for, people were actually only managing 600 steps a day. And the only time they were mobile was when they were going to and from the toilet. Um, in hip fractures, they found 99% um, of the time they were immobile and for 16 minutes of the day, that's the only activity that patients got. So the evidence was there in the literature that we really did need to do something. Thank you. Um, as we all know from the end PJ paralysis initiative of a few years ago, immobility does cause harm and bed rest causes muscle loss in these patients. Um, you can see here 10 days of bed rest produce a reduction in ability to climb stairs and the gait speed in healthy older adults. So when we're looking at um, trying to recover our patients, um, a significant proportion of our patients, I should say, who are frail and older, they do take longer to recover from immobility and um, they've also had major surgery. So we do just have to try and look at trying to get them um, out a little bit quicker um, because a hospital isn't always the best place for anybody to be. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. Keep going. Love it. And then the other way, forward, big circles. That's it. Brilliant. Well done. Get that arm as straight as you can at the top. Brilliant, well done. Good, we'll do three, two, and one. Well done. Good. That's it. Brilliant. Just a couple more. Right, the last exercise with your arms is going to be straight up and down. That's it. Well done. To paddle your feet for me up and down. Good. That's it, paddle both feet up and down for me. That's it, do what you can. It's all right. Good. 
I don't go the other way. Got a couple more on this side. I left it up, good. So well done, guys. Just do what you can. Good. That's it, well done. Good. Well, well done. Keep it going. Three more on this side. Got the last one. Got one more. Go on and relax. That's it. Well done, guys. Well done. Thank you. So that was um, just a, a little example of the, that's the post-COVID um, dinner and dance that we did. We did run it, um, started before um, COVID even happened, we started it um, and the, the physio team collected some data and we would run it Tuesday to Thursday. And we also combined it with having lunch together all sat around the table. So we're one of the wards that doesn't have a day room. So we wanted to try and improve, um, the, like I say, the quality and the experience of patients. So we used um, a long table in the middle of the bay and patients were moved from their bed space to sit around the table all together as if they were out for a meal. And then um, the group physio would take part around there. So obviously since um, COVID's come in, we've had to um, stop the sitting around the shared table and just have patients in their own bed space um, and doing all of that. So we worked as a whole MDT. So everybody was involved, nurses, physio, the nursing staff would try and endeavour to get the patients into the right place um into the bay taking them pre-covid from different bays so that there was a big group um and everyone was taking part in it the video obviously is from the covid era um they carried out an audit of patient satisfaction with regards to therapy contacts um everybody was invited to take part in even if you had visitors if you were um visiting somebody and the group was on you were invited to take part in the class also um, we had a raffle and bought all the hand weights for the patients. So, again, it was um, an inexpensive um, initiative. Thank you. This was the um, exercise class. They would follow these exercises um, through the group exercises. Like I say, it was carried out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mondays and Fridays were a bit difficult, like planning for the weekend and catching up. But by the whole MDT doing it, then the nursing staff are able to carry out the group physio um, following these exercises. Thank you. So what we found out was that 100% um, of people enjoyed the group activity. Nobody said no. 98% um, would be interested in taking part again. And if you looked at how people wanted the therapy to be delivered, they didn't just want it one to one. They wanted it. The majority of people wanted it both. So they either wanted it as group or both. So no one just wanted the one to one physio. So that was um, amazing. So they did like it before the lunchtime, the 12 to 2, which is when they had the, the class anyway. Thank you. Next slide. This was just an example of some of the feedback from the patients. Sweets at the end, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Next one, thank you. So what's next? So we're looking at our healthcare assistants, getting them all involved, um, looking at if there's any change to our length of stay any um, possible increase they can use for a business case in order to get more physiotherapy staff at the weekend um, and definitely looking at some outcome measures and aim it to be a full MDT-led um, initiative. Thank you.